Could advancements in 3D printing soon make a big change in the medical field? Today, we're going to dive into some exciting possibilities, some of which may make their way to your local makerspace sooner than you might think. Imagine a future where titanium or cobalt chromium alloys could be 3D printed using standard FDM printers. First off, why are these two materials even a big deal? Couldn't a cheaper or more abundant metal be used? To help answer that, let's look at some of the facts. For starters, these materials are renowned for their excellent properties and biocompatibility, which essentially means your body will accept implants much easier. These alloys exhibit excellent corrosion resistance, preventing the release of potentially harmful metal ions into the surrounding tissue. This corrosion resistance is due to the formation of a protective oxide layer on the alloy's surface, which acts as a barrier against corrosion and minimizes adverse reactions. You may be familiar with current manufacturing processes such as casting, forging, or even the newer method of laser sintering powdered metal. This last method, of course, being the closest to what I'll be focusing on in this video. The $500,000 gorilla in this room, though, is the prohibitive cost of a laser sintering system capable of working with these specialized materials. This mostly limits their accessibility to larger companies. Manufacturers like the Virtual Foundry, though, are tackling this problem in a different way. By infusing these metal powders into standard-sized filament, green parts can be produced on your everyday FDM printer, which drastically reduces the upfront hardware costs typically associated with laser sintering systems. Printing is just one half of the equation, though. Green parts need to go through a thermal sintering process, which fuses the powder together to form a solid metal part. But don't these specialized metals need controlled atmospheres and are incredibly difficult to center due to the same oxide layers that make them so adept at being used as implants? Yes, you guessed it. With the help of the humble microwave oven, I believe low-cost FDM printed medical grade implants can be produced at a fraction of the cost they're made at today. In my previous testing, I found that with certain additives and proper tuning of the sintering conditions, even reactive metals can be sintered in a relatively open atmosphere. For a while now, I've been upgrading my tooling behind the scenes to focus on metals like titanium that need higher temperatures. To conclude, I think there's a lot of exciting potential for bringing FDM additive into the medical space. Clearing the barriers to entry and reducing the cost of life-saving implants is a mission that I personally feel is important. In my next video, I'm going to be diving much deeper into the progress I've made and what my next steps are to move forward and help push this needle in the right direction. Cheers.